Hi everyone. I want to give you an update on the Fat Gecko. Now that I've used it for almost a year. Now I bought the Fat Gecko for the X100T because I realized that the X100T uh, had pretty good video capabilities. And when the X100F came around, I used it um, with the Fat Gecko as well. Lately, I've been using the XE3 uh, with the Fat Gecko. And first, I used it with the 23 2.0 lens. Now I'm using it with the 16F 1.4. But it turned out that using the XE3 with the 16F 1.4 lens is a little bit too heavy for the Fat Gecko. So lately, I'm noticing that I have to tighten everything a little more than usual. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, um, you know, because if you tighten things too much, eventually it fails. So hopefully it's going to last me a little bit longer. But I think overall it has been very useful for me. And in particular, you know, using it once a week, maybe, maybe two times a week, it's been invaluable. So I need to find a new solution and I'm not sure if I'm going to buy another Fat Gecko because there is another Fat Gecko I think that has three suction cups and I think it's a little more robust. But I want, but having something like that might be a little too bulky. One of the cool things about the Fat Gecko and using it with something like the X100F was that it was pretty discreet. Using the XE3 with the 16 is a little more um, obvious. So, definitely, I want to uh, find if there are any other alternatives. But overall, I think it's been great using it. Alright, so I'll give you an update later on if, uh, if I do get something different in mounting the camera on the windshield. Alright, bye-bye.